Hello year three, I just wanted to do another video just to show you how you can really challenge yourselves today, okay? So this method, what we're going to be using is called exchanging. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be borrowing some numbers. We have looked at this in class before, but obviously whilst we're working at home, we need to recap on a few things. So let's have a look at this. Now I'm going to use a different color so that you can clearly see what I'm doing. So here we've got 65 and we're going to subtract 49. Now, first of all, as always, we use the right hand column because this is the tens column and this is the one. So we're going to use the ones column, okay? Now five subtract nine, we cannot do it, can we? So what we're going to do, we are going to borrow a 10 and this is the place that we're going to borrow the 10 from. So if we borrow one 10 from 60, we're going to cross the 60 out and we're going to change it to a 50. OK, and I'm going to put my 10 here. So instead of it saying 5, it says 15. So then what I do, I do 15 and I'm going to subtract 9. So 15 subtract 9, 15 in my head, 9 fingers, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So my answer there is 6. Then I'd move on to my tens column. So I've got 50 and I'm going to subtract 40. So 50, you can do five fingers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and I'm going to subtract 40. So 10, 20, 30, 40. How many tens are left? Well, I've got one 10 left, haven't I? There we go, let's put that on. So my answer would be 16. Let's have a look at another one. So. Just make my page a bit longer. There we go. So I've, this is a bigger number now. Okay, still exactly the same principle. Let's have a look. So first of all, as always, we put our hundreds, our tens, and our ones on there. Okay, so let's start in the ones column. Three subtract three is zero. Let's put our zero there. Then we'd move on to our tens. So 20 subtract 70. And we know we cannot do that, okay? We cannot sub uh, have a larger number being subtracted from a smaller number. So now what we're going to do, instead of borrowing a 10, we're going to borrow 100. So if we borrow 100 from 800, it turns to 700. And I'm going to put my 10 there. So instead of it saying 20, it's 120. So 120 subtract 70. Well then 120 in my head, seven fingers, and I'm going to count in my tens, okay? So, 100, um, so 120, 110, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. So my answer there would be 50. And I'm going to, oh, that's not a good five, is it? I'm going to put my five there. That's better. So then what I do, I move on to my hundreds column. So I've got 700, remember, because I've changed it. So it's 700 and I'm subtracting 200. 700 in my head, subtract 200. That would be 500. So that is your extra challenge for today. Your questions today are based on this exchanging method. Um, it's also known as borrowing, okay, because we're borrowing numbers from the next group. Any problems, please just send me a message on Class Dojo and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, superstars, good luck. See you soon.